Welcome in live from BetMGM Sportsbook at the Great Lawn here at State Farm Stadium for the PSNX Cardinals Halftime Show. I'm Johnny Venerable, the playmaker, Britton Golden, Bo Brock, and gentlemen. Frustrating first half as the Arizona Cardinals, albeit take a lead into halftime, only up three after the LA Rams get three points at the end of the first half. And Bo Brock, in particular, this offense, What's it got to do to get going and not waste a defensive performance like this? It just feels like if Joshua Dobbs could just dial in the accuracy a little bit, that this would be a completely different game. I mean, what the Arizona Cardinals did defensively, I mean, outside of that final drive, big play from Cooper Cup, him and Puka Nakua, they combined for four catches, 63 yards before that big play. Yeah. That would have been a dub for this defense. They avoid catastrophe for a second straight week. So last week you had the pick six before you went to the locker room. You give up the lead. This time you are able to avoid that. You'll take the field goal. But look, the Arizona Cardinals getting stops and then turning those into just field goals, it's not going to get it done here. you got to turn those into tutties. Yeah, no. And the uh, defense has looked great. They're yep. getting pressure back there. They're getting off the field on third downs. They're they're holding the Rams inside the red zone to three, which has been real well. The offense has just not been there. Like you said, Dobbs has missed two really touchdown throws yep. to Hollywood Brown that yep. should, should have been connected both times. We've missed some other ones. Another, we're another week into it, and I heard the interview of, yes, I can't be the fourth quarter until Michael Wilson gets a target, but he got one of the first and hasn't seen another one right. since. And it's just to that point where it's like, why is Michael Wilson not being more involved in this play calling? I have not liked the play calling from yeah. the offensive coordinator in the first half. I feel like some of these third and short play calls that we've gotten have just been like, what are we doing? Right. We're just trying to just nothing. It's, we're not even trying to attempt to get these first downs. It's like Jekyll and Hyde with offensive coordinator Drew Petzing and then Nick Rallis. Like we're getting good Nick Rallis today with the defense, even without Jalen Thompson and Buda Baker, yet Drew Petzing isn't on his game. Now here's what I will say. I think the Cardinals – have an avenue to exploit in the second half. It's got to be the run game. They've got 24 carries for 103 yards on the ground, over four yards a pop. Rams have three yards, or excuse me, three attempts, five yards rushing. Like, that's the story of how the Arizona Cardinals can win this game. Here's not the recipe. Joshua <laughs> Dobbs, under 50% completing passes today. No touchdowns. The offense looks stagnant in the pass game. Like, you might just, Bo Brock, lean into what's working. And you've got, yeah, Dobbs has got five for 37. Keonta Ingram, nine for 36. Damian Williams, seven for 29. Like, that for this game has to be a recipe. Because I I, I was optimistic that they could exploit the Rams in the past game. Dobbs has just been too inaccurate the last six quarters to do so. Yeah, I mean, as, as Britton pointed out, I mean, two, you know, QB one throws. If, if you're a quarterback one in this league, you got to make those throws. At least drop the, like like the viral video, or not viral video, but just social media video yeah. showing off his accuracy. Well, yeah. it doesn't look like that on the field. And I know you got number 99 bearing down on you, but yeah. he's having fairly clean pockets, especially on those throws. You got to make those. He made one last week to Hollywood Brown. If you convert on one of those, I mean, the Arizona Cardinals are sitting in a completely different spot right now. So the Rams get the ball at halftime with a chance to go up. And, you know, th that's that's unfortunate to as, as well as Nick Rollis and this defense have been playing. The Rams doing you a favor by abandoning the run right. and just relying on, on throwing the football. And you're not seeing too many, like, pass breakups or anything like that. So it's not like the secondary's balling out, guys. I'm concerned because if Matthew Stafford plays just a little bit better, this could be another Arizona Cardinals, well, you know, you downfall in the second you half. Saw it right there, yeah. that last drive. Yeah. I mean, we get beat deep with 46 seconds left in the half. We get beat deep over the top by Cooper Cup. It's one of those that cannot happen mm -hmm. at that point in the game. You just got a field goal because you stalled inside the red zone again, and you give them the ball with less than a minute to play, and you you give up a 60 yard pass essentially for no reason. So, what's the answer offensively in the passing game in particular? Because Cardinals are winning the time of possession, they have more total yards. They are winning the turnover battle, right? They're in the red zone consistently, but they're settling for field goals. Like, BG, would you prefer, like, go, starting to go for it on fourth down? Or is it the, the pass play choices of the offense right now that's limiting what they're doing and how effective they are? I think 
the play calling is big right now, especially yeah. in the red zone. We have the some of these runs that have designated runs that have been called on a third and three and stuff like that. Yes. I mean, you want to be able to run the ball on third and three. Mm-hmm. I understand that. But when it's not working and then some of these pass, like we saw another a third a third down play where we just aired it out. Deep. Yeah. Should have been a connection to Hollywood, yeah. but it wasn't. Right. So it's one of those where it's like, do we get back into this short game and just try to find quick passes to get the ball out of Dobbs' hands and try to get some type of chemistry back in there? I, I don't. I'm it, gonna I'm gonna barf on another, you know, <laughs> ball in in front of the sticks on third down, especially in the money area. I, uh, I think at this point, take the restrictor plate off, right? Yeah. I mean, let's see Hollywood Brown. Let's see Michael Wilson in the red zone, and I think some of that of that falls on Joshua Dobbs' shoulders, like uh, like. Stop being so conservative. I know the play calling and your ears will be conservative, but look for the play that's going to be there from your money guys. Yeah, It it almost feels like they have gotten too cute when it matters the most. Like There are scenarios in which this team is able, fully capable of lining up in the I formation and ramming their running backs right at the Rams line of scrimmage and getting positive yards. Like those you know misdirection slow moving plays the draw plays like you're not going to be able to do that especially with how ineffective they've been pulling like Elijah Wilkinson we've talked about it 65 has been a complete liability you have to make this game much easier for Dobbs and company to basically function in because your defense is giving you maybe one of the best performances of the year thus far for a group that's completely undermanned you cannot if you're Jonathan Gannon and company waste this defensive performance because like we talked about on the pregame show like I picked the over in this game I thought the Rams would sleep rock to like 24 to 30 points like they have been a a revelation now the offense needs to to step it up this half and even more so than Dobbs like the play calling has to be able to exploit a Ram defense that by the way gentlemen is amongst the worst in the NFL in the second half yeah and that's the thing like we're going against like you said the 31st ranked passing defense in the NFL Mm, yep and we're not utilizing any type of play calling to expose it. Like you said, we're throwing, we got third and seven, and we're throwing a two yard route underneath into traffic where even if it is completed, you're going to get tackled five yards short of the sticks. Open it up. Yeah. yeah. Test the theory that they're the second worst defense and passing defense in the league. Test it. Yep. I, I hope that this offense gets the opportunity. Like, I guarantee you, Sean McVay, Matthew Stafford, this, this offensive unit for the Los Angeles Rams are going to go to the locker room. And they're going to have a plan to come out here and continue the success that they found at the end of the first half with a big play with those two wide receivers in Cup and Puka Nakua. Like they're going to they're going to have a plan, and it's going to be up to the Arizona Cardinals front seven to punch them in the mouth. Yeah, like they've got to come out, they've got to be prepared to throw the first blow and potentially get them off the field to give your offense an opportunity. Then yes, I hope that happens. But the defense has to do their part first, and they've done their part the entire game so far. Milwaukee Braves, thank you so much. Another super chat, four at ninety nine. Disappointing to only be up three. Questionable yep. play calling. We're dominating this game and only to be up three. Very disappointing. Hope for a, a better second half. I think we've echoed all those comments. Milwaukee Braves. Here's what I will say. This is really the first true test. Like I want to see how Jonathan Gannon does with second half adjustments against somebody like Sean McVay in the NFC West. This is the first matchup of these two teams under JG, the new era for the Arizona Cardinals. I think it would be such a positive message, not only for the players, but this fan base. Sean McVay has has tortured this fan base. Bruce Arians, uh, Cliff Kingsbury, right? Steve Wilkes, like... If Jonathan Gannon can pull this off and get a dub, and I get it, this this Rams team's not a world, world beater, but to go into that stadium and walk out with a win with Joshua Dobbs and no Buda Baker, Jalen Thompson, yeah. James Conner, Kyler Murray, find a way, Jonathan Look, Gannon, the, to the, finish the job. The Cardinals were seven-point dogs going into this game. I mean, the, the Rams were but playing. But no, I don't want moral Look, victories. There, no, no, no. no. I, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, it, it, no, it, nobody gave the Cardinals a chance going into this game. The Rams were supposed to be the better team. Yeah, yeah. if you come out and, and you get a win, like that, that is a big, I, I guess, pelt for Jonathan Gannon early in his coaching career for the Cardinals. Somebody in the chat, Free War 14. Dorch is great in the return game. It almost yes. feels like Greg Dorch could set up the Cardinals for their first touchdown of the day. It almost feels like that, BG, with the way he's returning the football and how efficient the offense has been. Well, it's good. And Dorch has been this guy the last few weeks in a row. He's been had great punt returns and setting them up with at least taking a first down or two out of the drive for him. And I feel like it's uh, he's probably a block away from taking one of these to the house. He's literally, it's just one block that's, that's getting in the way of him taking one all the way back. They are winning all three phases right now, albeit small. Offense, defense, special teams. They have the turnover on the punt return. Prater's been money three for three. The punt game looks good. The defense has been fantastic. 
Drew Petzing, it's a call to action, young man. Find a way <laughs> to get this dub for this fan base. This franchise has not won Come a road on, game. Mine. Let's go. Hasn't won a road game since last November. It's been 11 months. I'm sick of waiting. But we're having a banner was time Was that against here. the Rams, too? Mm, yes, it was. <laughs> oh, is that a good omen? I don't know. This is the best <laughs> one. We're here having immaculate vibes. Great Sunday of football here with our friends at BetMGM at the Great Lawn here at State Farm Stadium. Be sure to tune in. Like this video. Subscribe to PHNX Sports on the YouTube. We are back immediately following the second half of the PHNX Cardinals post-game show. For Britton Golden, Bulbrock, I'm Get Johnny Venerable. Dub. See you after the game. We all silly like the mayor.